hey everyone you are hello welcome back to my channel today i'm going to share with you this street food recipe this is roasted plantains and roasted yams and i have fried fish i have both on mackerel and tilapia and i also have some sauce which is a local sauce made with obaka onions otazi and red palm oil so if you're interested just continue watching So to prepare this local delicacy, I have some yam here. I have been soaking this yam in water for more than 6 hours now. You can soak yours for overnight, okay? Here I have both ripe and unripe plantains. So the first thing I'm going to do is to transfer the yams into my oven. You can use air fryer for this. You can also use charcoal stove if you have. But I guess most people we have oven, so it's gonna be very easy to make this with oven. I use the broil setting, okay, which is um, the one that produces light from the top, from the from top of the oven. I did not use the big option. So for my oven, I have the broil setting. It has the high and the low, so I just made use of low. Then at this stage, I switched to high just to make the yam to color a bit. I soaked the yam in water um, for 6 hours because I don't want it to be too hard at the end of the roasting. I just want the inside to be soft and not too dry. Over here, I have my plantains. Here, I was just trying to remove the skin of the unripe ones. Sometimes, it's not very easy to do, but if you just follow this method, it's going to be much easier for you to do. I prefer to combine both the ripe ones and unripe plantains because some people prefer the ripe ones while some prefer the unripe plantains. But if you decide to use just the ripe plantains, do not use the overripe ones because if you use overripe plantains, after roasting, it is going to be too soft. You're not even going to like the texture it will give you. So just go with just medium medium ripe plantain, not overripe. So just go ahead and peel off the skin and transfer it to a baking pan. I'm going to mix oil and salt just to apply on the plantains just to give it a golden brown color the next thing I'm going to do is to use my knife to just cut through the plantains okay this is just to help it to cook on the inside but most especially I just love the marks that it gives this plant and just makes them look like the authentic bole, the authentic street side um, food bole. Okay, I just love the marks after it is um, done roasting, so that's why I love giving them those beautiful lines. Okay, even if you don't give them these lines, it is still going to cook properly on the inside. So for me, it is not just about it cooking on the inside; it's just about the the beautiful lines, the um, the aesthetic picture that it gives now after giving them the lines go ahead and rub use your brush to apply the oil and salt mixture this is going to give the plantains a very beautiful golden brown color at the end you can also decide to use just water and salt mixture but I prefer the oil and salt mixture The next thing is just to transfer it into your already preheated oven 
and just let it start roasting as well here i was just trying to transfer some of them on the upper rack so that they can roast faster because the light comes from the upside so here i have my already marinated fishes this is tilapia and i also have mackerel i just added um, a little sprinkle of oil to this fish i added some black pepper i added some seasoned salt I added um, what again did I add? I didn't add too much spices, so I just added um, black pepper, seasoned salt, a sprinkle of oil, and just little seasoning cube, and just mix everything together. I left it to marinate in the fridge for about two hours. So here I'm just going to go ahead and fry the fish. kept an eye on the things in the oven here I just flipped it to the other side and this was after about 20 minutes okay I just flipped it so that the other side can roast as well At this point I was done with the first batch of the fish as you can see it is looking very beautiful already so I just transferred it to a colander lined with a pepper towel so that the pepper towel can absorb excess oil. I also went ahead to fry the other batch of the fish which is the tilapia while the tilapia was frying I checked the things I had in the oven and at this point some of the some of them we are done like the yams and some of the plantains I had on the upper rack they were done roasting as you can see the colors are looking very beautiful already while flipping the yams and the plantains, you may decide to wear an oven um, meat. Okay, don't be like me. I'm a coach, so don't mind me. <laughs> so yeah, I just cut into the yam just to show you guys how soft it is on the inside and how properly cooked it is at this point. So this is just it. Okay, it took me about total of 30 to 35 minutes for the yam to be properly done. Another thing you can do if you are not sure that yours is done is just to use your knife to just create holes inside it, okay? Just to enable heat to penetrate inside the yams. This is very necessary if you have your yams in big sizes. As you can see, my yam is just small to medium sizes, okay? So I don't even need to do this. But if your yams are in big sizes, you need to do this so that they can cook properly on the inside. Now I transferred all the plantains to the upper rack so that they can roast faster since the heat comes from the upside. Then I'm going to go ahead and prepare the local sauce. Here I have my obaka. I soaked this obaka in water 
for up to six hours because I have them in dried form. Here I have my red oil. I have enough onions. Okay. Here I have otaze. That is dried otaze. Lastly, I have my dry pepper, salt, and seasoning cube. To prepare the sauce, just go ahead and add your oil to a pan. Once the oil melts, once it dissolves, do not let the oil bleach. Okay, just let it dissolve, which takes about 30, 30 seconds to 1 minute. Then pour in your chopped onions and give it a very good stir. the onion for some minutes maybe about two minutes you don't need to let it become translucent then add in your obaka that is oba or oil bean seed add it together and let them fry together you may decide to add more oil than i did but this quantity i have is just what i need i don't want this oil in the sauce okay also add the other um, ingredients which are salt pepper Otaze and seasoning cube and just stir it together and let them fry together for about two to three more minutes and that is it okay this sauce doesn't take time to prepare at all there are so many other ways you can make your local sauce some people prefer to to um, pound their obaka pound it and then fry it okay you can also use sauce just oil and and just oil and salt or just oil and onions to enjoy this um, delicacy you don't need to add all of those things that I added so at this point everything was set here I have my plantains and fish I also have the tilapia fish here I have the yams and I have the local sauce so I'm just going to arrange everything in a very big pan and make them look very beautiful and appetizing This is not a dish we make every day okay it's just special occasions that we make things like this you can decide to use this as a treat to your husband your father your brothers or just anyone you know that enjoys local dishes it's very very easy to put together and look at is it not just calling your name just say the truth is just not calling your name we've come to the end of this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe leave me a comment in the comment section tell me what you like about all this delicacy tell me if you just prefer the yams or if you just prefer the unripe plantains or just prefer the ripe ones just let me know your choice in the comment section and why come in just come with your palm wine because this is going to go well with palm wine i will see you guys in my next video until then stay safe and god bless you bye